Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of Monster Train. As you can see, I actually won, I just played a run late one night thinking, hey, let's give it a shot. And I actually won it, very close to not winning it. I killed the final boss before he killed me. But we're on Covenant rank 10 now, friendly units on the top floor enter with dazed, spooky, let's go and let's see what happens. What are we hoping for? Honestly? This is good. Uh, we'll temper this so we have sap. Boom, boom, boom. We're gonna go all in on spells again, baby, if we can. Cause that's what Justin likes doing. Friendly units enter with armor five. I think that's gonna be pretty good, especially for our champion, who as you can see, is kind of weak. So we're gonna grab the damage spells cost one less. I just think that's really good. It really suits the way I like to play. Spikes three, are you kidding me? Can we do anything about that? It's a bit spooky. I think we'll try it out though. Worst case scenario, we just lose, right? That is the worst case scenario. Which, hell, right? What's the, why, why even worry about that? Okay, well, this is easy. I normally like to put her on this floor down here. But that's just a bit spooky with how everything's going. And I'm going to play this just, just to show the game that I mean business. Let's not forget that that daze thing actually is a problem. And we should just be very aware of that. That they enter the top floor with daze. Okay. Yeah, this is a pretty easy to get these guys here. Drop him here and kill one of these guys. Putting the damage very minimal. This uh, armor five is actually gonna be pretty good at making sure our dudes stay in one, one piece. We got a brief respite, so we're just gonna drop this guy down here. And uh, yeah, that's it. So this is a pretty easy turn. We're just gonna like nuke all these dudes. Kill him, go there, go there. He's taking 10, but we don't have to worry about anything until we get to the next parts of it. So I'm just gonna actually just like discard this. I could just play it. Uh, do, do, do. Yeah, we'll just play it. The odds of me drawing it again, though, were very minor, but once again, like, I'm not too worried. This is uh, this floor is going to be a bit spooky, but luckily with the power of all this, we'll get out of it with minimal damage. Our pirate is going to take some, which is not what you want to see, but that's just how it is. Our starting spells aren't crazy strong, but they'll get us to the end game pretty good. Okay. Not, I already have two offering tokens, so I don't need another one. Um, Sap three could be pretty good, and discarding the card at random doesn't really worry me too much. Applying armor five also seems pretty fun. All right, let's get a good tank for our commander so we can put her on the, the first floor. Oh, actually, I didn't get a unit there. We did get a bunch of money though, so we are gonna go here because we do want the unit, even though the extra spells is nice. Well, I think that'll work. We can give her a health upgrade. A large stone, actually, I was about to say, would be absolutely perfect. So let's also then, like, we're just gonna, she's gonna be our tank. And our master and commander is gonna be the one who is gonna solve all those problems for us. I'm gonna get rid of one of these frozen lances and uh, let's get out of here. Let's blow this popsicle stand as they say. Let's keep on the road. All right, armor 10. That unit draft would be nice, but I think this one's a bit tough for my current comp. I'd rather not um, risk it and be able to just kill dudes like, it's easy. All right, he's done. Sap this guy. This guy's going up there, but we're just gonna like deal with him. Okay, this guy here. We have to remember the top floor we entered dazed. That is spooky, scary skeletons. Uh, let's just go like this. Let's see if we do draw anything better. Yeah, this is better. So let's just like have this guy not take any damage. Oh, baby! It's cold outside. Okay. Gonna get rid of this frozen lance. We're gonna armor up our champion, I think. 
And then we're just gonna put all of these dudes, their days, remember that, on this floor. And honestly, things are looking really good. We can definitely nuke you to get rid of you. We can go like this, and look at that. Most improved from first fight to second fight is this right here. And hopefully we just get stronger. So let's see what we got going on. Oh baby! I really like both Crypt Builder and Titan's Tooth. I think Titan's Tooth... Oh god, because we have a lot of targeted removal. Hornbreak's really good, um, but I just love being able to kill everybody with one spell. I think that's so strong. None of these excite me. I don't think I need another Hornbreak. Especially once we start thinning our deck out. Molten Imp's cute, but not really what I want. It does tank a hit. I think I'm just going to go with Molten Imp. I think that's good enough. It's not particularly exciting, but it's at least good enough. Um, whoa, okay. What card would we double? Honestly, probably none of them. So we're going to grab another unit. I do want to heal my Pyre eventually. I love her. I love her a lot. Problem is, we kind of have a little bit of a conflict. She's going to need a tank. She's going to need a tank. All right, cards of the consumer have a 50% chance to be discarded, 50% chance to remove all buff effects when an enemy unit when it enters your train. Yeah, that's, that's good. I think that's good enough. Let's see what we got here. A cave of a thousand eyes. Here, have some coins. Have some more money. Demon units get multi-strike one. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. That is our subclass, so we'll take it. We'll take it and hopefully we can get a nice big Hellhorn unit. If only we'd got that unit draft on the spikes. In retrospect, we definitely, definitely could have handled it. Looks like the bomb's gonna be exploding twice. Luckily, we have a lot of targeted removal to deal with that. So hopefully, we'll come out ahead. Hello, boys and girls. Okay. Definitely go here. She's just taking 16. Honestly, I think we're just gonna nuke this torch and pump up the jam. It's a bit strange, but I think, I think this is kind of actually what we want to be doing. Let's look at these guys. We can go here, play this for two. Is that good? That's probably good actually. Uh, they're both dying. She's taking six. Six ain't bad, especially like when the threat that's going to be coming to her is going to be uh, dead. Don't know why I sapped him, just because there's no other point to sap anyone. I should have actually sapped the person on the bottom because we would have got the uh, um, benefit from that. Uh, this doesn't matter. Draw a card, discard a card, discard you. We need to start putting some dudes up here. We definitely want to blow this up, and we can just, like, poke you. There, now she's done. This floor's a bit spooky, but we drew this. Actually, we drew that. That's even easier of a problem. Uh, we will frostbite this floor. We'll torch this. I could put it on this, but I think we just have to get this guy up here. We need to get uh, him out of our deck. We don't want to draw him again. Okay, well, this is still actually pretty fine. We drop this here. This guy comes to the party. And we knew Kirk, so this dude has to go through our entire train. Um, all right, some damage to our pyre. That's life, I suppose. And let's see what's going on here. Looking actually pretty... Could be better, could be worse. There's no lie there. Let's draw and discard. So we just discard this one because it deals less damage. Pop here. Boom, boom. Now he's done. Okay. What do we want? Honestly, I actually think I'm going to take... <laughs> I think we're taking the room upgrade, which I normally don't do in this build, but I'd love to put those three units all on the same floor. All right, what the frick does this do? Deal damage to the front enemy unit equal to two times the number of spells in your deck three times. 
Let's go! Uh, yeah, I love all this multi-strike, but like these aren't possible. Uh, here's our tank for our next level, at the very least. And we are doing a room bonus. Okay. Okay. I think I need the unit. I still would love to heal, but I think we need the unit. We could probably get rid of one of these train stewards. And I'm going to get rid of one of these torches. That's cool. We have two tanks on one floor, I guess, but that's fine. We're just going to uh, pump up this one. I think this one's just worse. Uh, but 22 damage can get over a few a few bumps. Uh, permafrost. Nothing really interests me is what I can see. So I just want to, like, make this stuff better. This costume one is pretty cool. And then plus 10 magic power. This to 15. But this actually to 15... The, they both go to 15, but I think this one's going to be better for us. Uh, let's upgrade our champion and see what comes out. Minus two. No, we're going to go with the sweep. Because uh, most of our damage spells cost one. We don't need the minus two. It's not as beneficial as the other stuff. I did not check to see what that was. I just wanted to tick it and go. So let's... Oh, non-boss enemy gets plus six attack. That's a bit spooky, but... I think we're going to be A-OK. -okay. Let's just make this guy. See you later, punks. Okay, so we can't get that dude up here, but we can just, like, rose to this floor. All right, we want to put her in there. And... Zoop! This person's getting up there, but that's fine. I would love to kill this to get the money. And I can do that! Look at that! Cool, 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 cool. Okay, this guy is joining the party up here. Because things are strange. Um, we're gonna pump this guy. We're loaded, loaded full of this. This guy can go here. And then we just, like, nuke this floor completely. Like, say, say you later. See you later. She's taking 12 damage on our front line. That's okay. I would actually like some more cards that bump up armor. Because spells are important. This card's going to be... Oh, tasty. That card is definitely... Just a good time. Alright, these guys are both dying. So congratulations, you are getting the Frostbite. Alright, things are going. Here's our brief respite. So this guy's just going to tank a hit. We're gonna draw and discard. We're gonna discard the torch. We have no need for it. Uh, Frozen Lance here to bump her up, give her some slight healing. And uh, we're not gonna pierce in our own dudes because that would be counterintuitive. All right, what do we got going on here? A little bit of an awkward turn, but I think we just load all of our spells in here. So the first thing we do is we do this. We nuke this guy, nuke him again, and then we sap him for three, which is enough to kill him. Good job, team. So we're also putting a bunch of spell weakness on him, so if and when a boss does get up to the next floor, uh, a spell is just gonna absolutely destroy them. So we're looking for more spells. This is spicy. <sighs> this is a choice. I love this guy. But I don't have a floor to put him on, so we're going to go with this Ply Spell Weakness 2. But even then, I think maybe not, actually. Uh, moving into the front and apply Armor 10. Yeah, because uh, I'm just going to be using that on my uh, my tank in my bottom row. So that's a pretty easy choice. Um, okay. So. I think we're going to be going to the Hellbent. And I think what we want is to duplicate this card. And we want to remove two cards, and it's actually going to be a Train Steward, and I think a Torch. Even though, yes, removing spells does make our deck that one card weaker, it's also important. Oh. Oh. 
So the minus two to unit cost does seem like an exciting time, but our units ain't expensive. The heal all health. This will deal a bunch of damage to us, but I think the random artifact is worth it. Our score, our pyre is gonna take some damage here, and this might be the decision that loses me the game. So let's just hope it isn't, right? That's what it all comes down to. We can just like, so we're gonna get rid of this spell because I would just love to it not be here. I would like to play this guy, but at the same time, just neutering, neutral, uh, neutralizing that floor does seem like a good time. Her going here, also great. This guy, you're going up to my top floor. That's where you live. Congratulations, you just got a promotion. And this, pretty good for that little floor. So once again, this lady's gonna get all of her health back, but that's, we're accepting that. That is the reality of the situation. Okay. This turn's kind of spicy. Put this guy here. This doesn't do anything, so we're not even gonna play him. We just like, boom. I could have done that on this guy, to be honest, but. Let's just like not send boys down. Let's just like assume that this guy's going through, but try not to let anybody else through. Draw and discard, easy choices. Pierce through one of these armor boys. Oh yeah, our pyre's taking a crap ton of damage from that bro. But we're taking what? Oh God. <laughs> That's not what I like to do. I'll tell you that right now. That is not what we're happy about doing. That is a bit rough. But let's just not die to this guy. This guy coming up here, let's get a good draw. Final wave. This does actually look like a really good draw. Just kidding, this guy's... Actually, we're in, we're in a world of hurt. That multi-strike is a bit of a problem. Getting a bunch of spell weakness, though. Let's just worry about that when we get there. Oh! That's power. I would love to give that thing hold over. Titan's Claws! And then turn, frozen cards are reduced to zero. Sure, I'll take it. Um, oh yeah, we'll do that for sure. Uh, more survival. This also seems pretty good, but we're just gonna go with this one. We're gonna go with that. This is a bit spooky. We need, I think we need to prioritize healing for our pyre. Yeah, none of these, this is not as exciting. So we're just gonna take a few little hits Get rid of one of these train stewards. And we're gonna get rid of one of more of these frozen lances. Once again, yes, I know removing spells makes that one big exciting one a bit weaker, but I think it's important. Analyzing. Honestly, none of those are too exciting. When you play your third, all cards gain plus one magic power. Deal 25% steal, uh, five damage. Spell weakness, 50% does seem pretty good. I do like this card a lot, but is this one just better? I mean, uh, no, I don't think it is. It might be, but I don't think it is. And I am playing the game and you can be like, Justin, you're crazy. And you know what? You're probably right. You're probably 100% correct. But I like being a bit crazy. Okay, bit of a situation here. This is a not great opening hand, but hopefully we can draw something a bit better. Just kidding, it's, it's junk. It's garbage. <laughs> Congratulations, folks, we have garbage. Okay, really, this is what's happening here. She's taking 49 damage, are you kidding me? Right, well, he's going up here and we'll start poking through that thing. She's taking 49 damage. That is a pretty big chunk of damage. Oh, that's right, because of the rage. Okay, so it's not as scary as I thought. It's scary. This person getting through is horrible for us. So I think we have to do that. And we want to play three spells a turn. 
that's not a problem. Okay. This is, this is a scary situation. Pump her up. Kill you. Drop that there. I don't know. This is spooky. These dudes seemingly have a boatload of attacks waiting for us. Alright. Let's get all this going. Coming through. Pyre's gonna be taking a bunch. We're taking a bunch. Things aren't great. Things are not great. This card's fantastic, though. Okay, we're starting with this. And we're discarding just this torch. Give her a bunch of yes juice. How's everything else looking? This guy's taking 24. 18. Is not enough? Is it is enough? Yeah, it is. Cool. Okay. So what do we want? We, what do we need? I don't know. We need a lot. We need a lot. Okay, so we're probably going to sap that person. This middle floor is junk and garbage. She's taking 13 damage. I think we do want to reduce that. We have a room we can put this guy up here. This one's done. Okay, so we're just going to sap you and save her some... Save her the pain of living. Okay, well, congratulations. You're going here. We're going to draw and discard on this floor. No, 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 no. Um, maybe actually? Because we could just drop... Oh no, I spent it all. We wasted it. How much damage are we taking? 29? Alright. We're taking a... We're not doing great. We're not doing great. We're on the final wave. She's taking 170 damage. Are you kidding me? This is what we're looking at right now? This is the joke you're telling everybody, Justin? Uh, this guy's dead. Okay. Let's just hope we get a good spell weakness. Five times. Okay. Well. She's taking nine. So we actually, honestly, oddly enough. Like. No, she's taking a bunch off that. Okay. Oh no! How much she's taking? 130? Are you kidding me? That's literally nothing. All right, we can sap three her. That puts her to four times two. Does that do a lot more? Probably does more than the other stuff. 194? Are you kidding me? The dream is dead. Just like that. Just like that. Okay, we'll get another run in. We'll do two in this video. As opposed to just, uh, calling this that. Let's go. I guess it just wasn't good enough, yo. Interesting combination. Alright, we're hungry. What is this one? Cleanse unif- alright. Ah, we're hungry. Um, just from our opening stuff, we have a lot of things that give us, um... That give us perks from- we have a lot of things that generate morsels, is what I'm trying to say, but... My English, no good. My English is not great. Okay. This one's a little bit spooky, but we're just gonna, like, put this guy down here. Grab this one. Go here, and then eat a bunch of these. We would love to get life steal, damage shield, and then, like, you're just gonna die up here. So, once again, this is gonna just... We're gonna take a bunch of damage to our core, but... We knew that was gonna happen when we took this one. But everything's gonna be okay. We're gonna get out of this in one piece. Put these guys here for sure. And then this guy's gonna eat more food. We don't want damage and life steal because that is actually just counterproductive, right? We're gonna take four more to our base, but... Already you can see that things are okay for this first wave. We have our brief respite, so everyone's just gonna eat. Uh, he still has 
more damage shields because we're going to get rid of the life steal. Not as exciting to me. We'll drop two dudes up here. And he's at full health. So let's give this guy... Man, it doesn't matter. No one's going to benefit from it. Alright, where's that Glimmer at? Yo, Glimmer is dealing with this problem up here. And now let's just grab some dudes. You see, this guy's already dead. He's dead and then some. Okay, but I mean, like, if you lose on the first thing, it's, uh... We're, like, way past the days of losing on the first car. More morsels? Or do we try... You know what? We already lost in the first half of this video. Let's just try new things, right? Um, more, wave, more wave damage is good, I think, so I am going to take it. But we're just going to try new stuff out. Okay, probably we probably want more gorge triggers. This is not what I asked for. Upgrade a unit with endless. Sure, why not? Let's have some fun. Now it fights back. The snack that smiles back. Until you cut its head off. Uh, we have a lot of upgrades ahead of us. Like, they can each hold three, so let's just load them up with the small stuff. And let's just go. This one's a bit spooky, but I believe. And if you believe, we all can believe. A little bit strange here. So we're going to put this guy up here to just get rid of that daze. And, uh... Oh, he starts with lifesteal, too. I was like, nothing is happening, huh? Wow, this he, this big boy nearly died. Okay. Oh, my God. Uh, I mean, I have to. Okay. Uh, room upgrade will be really great once we can get there. How much damage is this? This is nine damage, so that will kill this guy, so there's no point in just putting him there. Let's, uh, go. Uh, we would love to get a Glimmer here, because then we can solve a lot of problems. We're going to solve it on this floor. And let's uh, get some Morsels. Lifesteal. Once again, it's a bit counterintuitive. He will get Lifesteal too. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine, right? We need another Gorge unit, for sure. We need something else that is hungry. Last Glimmer, really helpful. Perfect timing on this guy, for sure. Just where we need them, look at this, we've already, we have, we have solved this mystery. We are gonna, as you usually do in Umbra, get a room upgrade. Good job, Master and Commander. We're very proud of you. All right. I always like me an Ant, um, an Ant Umbra Assault. Steel Enhancer? Sure, why not? Feed the robot. Feed the robot. Feed the robot! <laughs> if this robot ain't eating, you ain't yeeting. This is the choice. I think units are better for us in the long term. Alright, so this guy takes two. This is- I, I'm doing some weird stuff here, but I'm feeling it. I'm just feeling- I'm feeling something. I'm feeling a fun run. We're not thinking much. I would like a rare Hellhorn draft pick, I guess. They have a lot of good stuff. You know, I have a plan, and that plan is feed the robot. <laughs> I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna drink some water. Let's go. Let's go. Let's see what we got. Cool. 
We need that. We need that production. We need robot right here. And this robot wants to do one thing. And that is eat. And our master commander is also going to eat a tiny bit. How dare you do that again? All right. This guy's going here. This is actually an, yeah, it's actually an easy choice. So once again, we want the room upgrade because as soon as we can get the room upgrade, things are gonna look a lot nicer. Uh, why you ask? Well, because look at all these kind of like weird room counts we have. I didn't want to click that button. Oh, that robot is a hungry, hungry robot. But everything's gonna be a-okay because we got glimmer. That's a bit of a problem. Uh, well, right now, actually, only the robot gets to eat because this was what I wanted. He's gonna be taking 14, so we're gonna give him some healing. We could sacrifice this. I think I will? Weird play, but I think it's necessary. Yeah, we definitely need a room upgrade. This robot, he is eating, though. He is, he's feeling it. Of course, we had to draw the Ember, the one horn, one horn's tome there. So that's a bit unfortunate. But this robot, he's killing. Our dude is going to die. Are you kidding me? Our dude is going to die? Our dude is going to be fine. Everything's great. We're okay if this dude just tanks it. Ah, wrong floor again. We'll see which one's better. Because one of them, definitely you here. Definitely this up there. This is the Amber Forge that just fights back. Final wave. Not going great with how things are going. This is actually fine though. Um. Yeah, this is a messy floor, but this is not where things get nutso. It's this other, this stuff up here. Once again, we are missing that, that little, just the thing that makes this good. And I think we're going to like really start seeing the potential once we get into this. Yeah, see, like, look at this. This is great. Once we get into this next part of this, once we get that room upgrade that allows us to actually do the stuff that we want to be doing. Go, robot, go! So yeah, easy choice. We're taking the room upgrade. Uh, and then, like, we can actually start gorging and healing with our commander. Oh, these are some interesting choices. I like Wildwood Tome, but I also think Channel Song is pretty good in this deck. So we're going to take it. I would love you guys, but honestly, bros, you just don't work in what we're doing. Our, we don't have the room size for it. We just don't. And I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm Canadian, don't you know? I wanted spell upgrades, but I guess unit upgrades will have to do. So what we wanna do is we need to remove these train stewards from here because we would hate to draw them with Channel Song. We would absolutely hate it. This is actually, I'm taking it. And you're gonna be thinking, but Justin, but Hawaii. Uh, let me tell you why. I don't know, so stop asking me questions. <laughs> uh, yes, this one. And then we would love you to be able to survive a bit more, so let's go there. Uh, honestly, also as well, I'm kind of just not thinking. I'm kind of just going. I'm kind of just thinking. I'm having a fun run. We'll worry about everything else when we get there. Multi Strike, are you kidding me? That'll tear me apart. <laughs> that will, I have no more. I only deal by attacking. When you start attacking me, I'm in a bad place. Are you kidding me? All right. All right, where's my robot? There's my robot. Uh, we would love to put this guy in here. 
Uh, you are the one who I must kill. Oh, dang, I, I should have played that Morsel Master. That's a bit of a misplay. Our core is definitely going to be taking some damage, but we'll be fine. Please, do not kill me. <laughs> Please. Whatever you do, do not. Uh, so, on the plus side, our champion is getting well-fed. He's getting well-fed, and he is happy about it. On um, the downside, it's, this is a bit of a messy start. I really wish I played that Morsel Master. But our champion is getting fed, and that's what matters right now. And that's what's good. All right, Channel Song, let's go. We nailed it, folks! That's what the stories were wanting to tell us about. We've done it. Can you believe it? I would love to get those a damage upgrade, for sure. Uh, he has, what, three fuel left? We definitely need to fix that problem. This incant trigger is the bane of my existence. What's happening up here? You're dead. All right, let's get that multi-strike card. Yeah. We're hungry. Perfect. Just what we needed. The multi-strike card. Uh, Alright, give me one that's worth it. Yeah, baby. You're worth it. Maybe it's Maybelline, or maybe you're just freaking worth it. Okay! I mean, I think this, this next floor is going to be an absolute slaughter. Uh, and honestly, we have to uh, just play these so we don't just take needless damage. I would have loved to play that just to say I did. Actually, honestly, if I played it, I would have canceled out one of them, so I could have played it. But obviously, you see, the robot is here to smash, the robot is here to bash, and everything is looking great. Uh, sorry for going absolutely silent there. I was just thinking some things over in my head and I could not comprehend doing two things at once. I just could not comprehend it. All right, well, this is easy. Uh, getting rid of the other stuff, like especially Shade sp uh, Splitter, is a really awful spell. But I think we just want our uh, whatever that song is to actually like just freaking nail it. Plus 10 spell power. We want our things to do what they want to do. I honestly don't know why I grabbed that one card, uh, that the steel enhancement. Just because I'm not thinking. I'm not thinking, I'm just going for this run. Get rid of that shade splitter. And let's fight. I think this runs, uh, it's pretty fun. Plus six, 150 coins. Frick, I'll do it. Worst case scenario, we die. <laughs> Best case scenario, we fly. Okay. We have lifesteal. He's dead. I guess I can do some counting. Okay. Had to do a slight audible there. Can we get out of this okay? I don't know if we can. I think I might have really just mucked this up. Okay, he's taking... If we drop this one here, he's going to be fine, but he does not get to eat. We put this here. I just made a big boo-boo, but we'll, I think... Oh my god, I have made a terrible, terrible mistake. Will we ever be forgiven? I don't freaking know, to be honest. Like, things are just not great, because I just did not think. And you should think. But maybe we can start getting out of this here. Kill one of these guys. Yeah, you get your encamp, but this guy definitely needs a damage, some damage shields. Okay, maybe we can start double death here. But we can throw one in front, two in front, three in front. 
No units left. Okay. Okay, just breathe. Just breathe. This is just a random fight. And you're gonna get out of it okay. Especially once you start getting these glimmers going. There we go. That we're gonna be taking so much damage to our stuff. Okay, this first guy's dying. Yeah, tell me about it. It's okay. Everything's gonna be a-okay. Will our pyre survive this though? That's the ultimate question here. Honestly, right now it doesn't look great. Will we survive this? Definitely not. Oh, we're done. We're done, folks. Let's just call it here. We played a big oopsie. Let's just let him do it. We really, we really, uh, est the B there. But that's okay. Two runs for the price of one. You gotta love it. We'll see you guys in the next episode of Monster Train where let, I'm gonna screw my head on right and we're gonna play well and we're gonna try to walk away with a win. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. And as always, GG's.